Hey guys, Malkuth1974 coming back at you with the second episode of Let's Play Star Drive. Ah, we last left you, we were trying to find out about the Cylon thing here. And it looks like the bad guys have won it over here. Uh, whatever. I want to get my colony ship. Hopefully it's out now. Don't know if that's the one that I built or that's the one it's hitting. Okay, so that's the one I built. Let's grab that baby. Waiting orders. Now I'll find out real quick here if this is their planet they want because I'm gonna click on it and they will send some. But they will uh, right there. So yeah, we can either take it and go to war with these guys, or we can just move on to another place. We don't want a war right now because that's not going to be good. So what I'm going to do is head towards... Damn it, I really wanted that too. You suck, you bum holes. But anyway. I want to see if I can possibly take these guys out. Possibly. And I'm going to send in my... I'm already taking those, so that's good. I'm going to send in my colony ship. Where'd he go? He cannot take that. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? You should have a flag. Oh, he's still there. Oh, he haven't moved him yet. There we go. Oh, what happened? Alright. Confusing as hell. There we go. This has some good planets though, so I'm going to try to take these guys out. I stress the word try. I don't think I can take... There's nothing to take there. There's nothing in even stop. Or is that a good planet? That's a pretty crappy planet actually. But it does have mm, good richness. No fertility, though. That's what you got to be careful with, because you want food. Uh, oh, this isn't even explored. Why is there nobody exploring over here? You bums. Crappy planet. You can have all that. I'm pretty sure venting doesn't have anything good. That's my other swords, swords, swordsman. One more swordsman. All right. So it looks like we're growing this way. Gaiten. Did Gaiten have a good planet? Man, that's not bad. So that's where they are. Oh wow, it's got two. Oh, that's the one with two, right? Yeah. But this one's closer in all technicality, and it should be a little bit easier. So that's the ultra rich. That's actually a nice planet. So we definitely want that. Uh, Four point eight population. The fertility is two point six, and that's five. So planet wise, go by fertility. That is owned by the squids. Orden 2. Where's Gaiten? Uh, Alright, I want this to shut off first. Is there a way to go to this planet for I can see where it is? Guyton, there's no owner, none, none, none. But they all have good fertility. But I don't know where they are. I mean, they could be halfway across the universe for all I know. And they could have... For... 
kayo. They're nowhere near me. There's Titan. Oh, Guyton's right there. So yeah, I definitely have to send a fleet there first. All right. I don't even know what this does. Maybe one of you guys know what that does, and you can share with your wisdom with us what this does. Actually, I know what it does. It means they just can probably they can fly their ships into my system. It means I can fly my sims ships into their system. And I could have had a nice planet here. It means they can fly into my system and take planets, I think. I think. No, maybe not. I took Titan. Oh, what I wanted to do is I want to automate these guys. These are all going to be core worlds, I think. Because they're all pretty damn good. Is there a way to travel? Of course there is. Core. What does he have? Richness. Agriculture. Fertility. Richness. So we'll make this industrialist. This guy. Ooh, beautiful. We'll make this a core world. And of course, there we go, look at that! Still not making a whole hell of a lot of money, but it's probably because I'm colonizing so much. But at least I'm not in the minus anymore. So I definitely want to grab these, this one and this one and we should be all set. I'm gonna take this AI thing off. Uh, yes, yes. My out. A hyperspace flux has blah, blah. Oh man, I keep losing money. Stop it. It'd be very bad. Oh. Where's, uh, it's not one of my places, is it? No. I don't even know where that is. Oh, it's way up there. None of my problem. Sucks to be you, I guess. Might have to up my monies here in a second. Start making some more money. What is that? What kind of effect does that have anyway when you up your taxes? I may get 27%. There. It's really bad because I need to get some spies made up. But I came in afford them at this point. All right, so second fleet is there. The colony ship is there. We're just waiting for those slow ass bungholes to come over here. Colony ship can wait right there. You see him flying around. It looks like there's two, maybe three frigates. Nope, oh, there's a small fighter too. Well, we should be able to take these guys. Oh my god, I'm losing money again. Why am I losing so much damn money all the time? Come on. I 
I'm trying to figure out what I can do to try to save more money, but it's not looking well. I don't know what raising taxes does, I just don't know. Um, building maintenance is 3, ship maintenance is 6.2. I'm not getting any trade, I don't think, unless I'm getting it from there getting that. I uh, don't know, I don't know how this makes any difference. <sighs> Taxes are collected from your planets as a portion of their production research output. For instance, a tax rate of 25% means that research and industrial output would be... So this doesn't really have an effect on people, it's just your uh, the output will be reduced by 25%. I have to do it or I'll start losing planets. So there we go, gaining one now. Oh, we just jumped up to six, whoa. Can we go back to 25%? No, but I can go to 30. Alright, there we go. Oh my god, I jumped back down the for freak's sake! I'll just keep it at 50% until my uh, col- it's probably what it is, my colonies are uh, just growing too much. Or something. Like that. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out, but now it's back at 0.62. I, I just have to let it get it high, and then I'll drop it and get my uh, my uh, my stuff back. I don't think colony taxes means what we I we usually associate it with. It looks like it's kind of similar to uh, Sword of the Stars 2, where it's the slider, and if you slide it up, you're putting more money into your treasury to pay the bills. If you slide it down, you're putting more money into your uh, uh, your research and your industrial output. It's what it looks like to me. Seems how it works, so it doesn't have a negative effect on uh, your population because they're, you're only going to get whatever tax we get from them no matter what. So, sounds like a plan. It's pretty simple. Works, I guess. Now that I know, I know I can just do that and not have any issues. This sure is a lot of that volcano stuff. They, um, the game loves to destroy planets. I, I, gotta, I do have to say that. It loves to destroy planets. Just gotta wait for these guys to arrive. Everybody's growing pretty good. But I think I'm growing with the best planets. If I grab this, and I grab uh, Gaiten, I should be uh, pretty set for a defensive. That should be pretty good. I think. I'm not sure. I'm really sure. Not really sure. Nope. Alright, so they all there now? Alright, so one. Ooh, there's actually more over here than I thought. There's two around here. And there's three over there, so let's get these guys to come first. They're a little bit closer, so we can cheat it a little bit. So they detect them first. I can probably put these guys... Oh, looks like they're all... No, nope, they haven't detected us yet. We'll go right here. Right here. Come on. <laughs> they didn't jump very far. Get your butts over there, boys. 
Come on, we're wasting way too much time. Let's go. Yeah, that should get their attention. Yep, that got their attention. Luckily, they're only fighters, so... Alright, let me pause this. Sometimes you just have to pause it to get the effect you want. Make sure he's not getting his butt dreamed. Uh, I have him take him out. Him take him out. Boom! He's gone. Let's get these guys to come now. This one will be a little better because we got two frigates versus two frigates plus one fighter. Oh, here they all come too. Oh crap. Take this guy out first. Take this guy out. Take the big guy out first. Might lose ships on this one. Hey, get over there and beat his ass. Just trying to watch Oh. Come on, get out of there. Thank you. Jump. 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 Are we all good? Looks good to me. Let's take this planet. I'm pretty sure there's none up there. Let's just jump up here just to make sure. we go. Brand new planet. 6.69. Let's see if I can lower that to 40. That's good. Good, there's nobody over there. Let's refuel these guys. One, two. Resupply and then we will launch up to these guys and take Gaiten. Gaiten, I tell you. I do want to build another colony. Ship. Ships. Freighter. Colony ship 2. Build that baby. Let's put some troops on our homeworld. Put 4. Uh, what about some of these other ones? If I start building a lot of troops, I think they're gonna. Obviously, they're gonna cost me a bunch of bucks. But we want to start protecting our worlds here. He cannot build anything. He can't do crap. He can't do crap. He, can't do crap. he can probably build a couple. He can build. Oh, he's already got a couple. Did he build his own troops? I've never seen the AI build its own. No, he's got them building. Okay. Troops. 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 All my things. Oh, this guy doesn't have. What is this guy? Ooh, yeah. This is definitely a core world. can't do anything else there. Uh, 
There we go. How about Adrian? Do we have any good stuff here? Got that, but it's not that great. Baller. Ooh, Baller has some nice planets by the looks of it. Nice! Can I colonize these? Is there a reason why? No, because it's never been. What's the... Wow! That has to be a... That has to be, um... Something there. What the hell? How are all these good planets around here? Alright, I need to get my fleets to move in here. Alright, let's see if we can move this down some more. Down to 32%? How's that? Alright, good. I'm trying to get my production and my uh, research back up as things start getting colonized here. And I probably should try to make some uh, star subspace projector. Put one there. Put one there. Put one there. Just to make everything much quicker. Should queue up construction ships. Yep. All right. So that's good. That makes me happy. So subspace projectors is what this line looks like right here. That's the same thing. It makes your ships go a little bit faster. Uh, I guess there was a bug in it before where uh, your ships. Well, say they wanted to uh, fly to. Uh, teeny here or tiny or whatever the hell it's called uh, what they would do is they would take the subspace uh, projectors but they would stop at every stop instead of just going straight through to it I guess they don't do that now now they'll just go straight through it and everything will be wonderful alright so these guys are all repaired is that one? Who is the slowpoke? A heavy drone. What the hell do they mean a heavy drone? I thought that was a frigate. What does it have in it? It's got shield. It's a nice little ship too. I like it. It's definitely the slowpoke of the fleet though. Pretty sure he's all supplied up. Yeah, he's all set. Okay, let's send these guys out. He doesn't need to resupply because he's a drone. Uh, we'll send him there. And we'll send him there. Pretty sure I don't. Did I get a colony ship? Look for the flag. Yes. He should have no orders. Awaiting orders. Okay. So we'll send him up. Get him set up up here. Alright, so the ships are on their way. Unfortunately, it's going to take a while because that one ship is going to take forever to get there. Down to point seven. I got to watch that, make sure I don't lose anything. I need to get this up. Some, I need to just get these freaking colonies moving. God, I'm pretty sure Teenies, that's the one I just did as a core world. Maybe I should do it. What does industrialist mean? Uh, 
Ah, screw it. Do cool world. Looks good from here, looks good from here. Looks good from my house. Everything is fantastic. Let's see if we can get this thing sped up a little bit. Okay, second fleet's already there. I'm just waiting for first fleet. Uh, there's my first construction ship. Second, they have to build the gates first. Oh, oh, I got science foundation unlocked. What am I doing next? Interstellar governance. That will actually help me a little. Oh, shoot, and my uh, money went down again. So, is First Fleet there yet? Yes, all the fleets are there. So, one. This one might be a little bit more tricky because these have quite a bit of good planets in it. One, two, three good planets, but we'll take these guys out for. Ah, oh, look! Okay, there's. Are those frigates? Yes. And over here, they're just fighters. Good. Bring in one, bring in two. Take these guys out real slow. Here they come. And pop. oh, there's three of them. Fight, fight. I freaking love this. This game is really fun. It's one of my. It's like really. It's it's kind of a uh, like a mixture of. Uh, I can't think of the names right now. It's like uh, it's got like Master of Orion. Uh, Tones in it, but it's also got uh, Sins of a Solar Empire type feel to it, but you know, just better in respects to being a 4X type game. So, yeah, it makes me extremely happy. And believe it or not, I think there was, I think uh, this was uh, one of those games that were developed by uh, 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 funding, you know, like player funding. Uh, I mean, I never got in. I didn't know about it until it was I, it was on Steam. I've had a few people tell me, you know, why don't you get it, Malcolm? I like you. We, 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 I like you playing these types of games. You know, all that stuff. Uh, I've seen Web play it, uh, Web Gaming Central, and so I just decided to, uh, you know, do my own Let's Play on it. Uh, this is my. This is kind of my. You know, I've been doing my Minecraft videos and uh, Minecraft videos. Really, most of my my uh, Let's Plays are been on space games. You know, I mean. Incredible Space Program, uh, Sword of Stars, uh, Distant Worlds. So yeah, so it was just natural for me to want to do this again. So space games are my favorite uh, strategy games of all time. Um, I've been hit with a few uh, a few uh, lemons in the last few few outings here, and I pretty much have every space game there is. I mean, if you ask me, I probably have it. So. I had people ask me to play uh, Galactic Civilization. I was thinking about doing it, and well, one more guy. Get him! Get him! Get him! And then we can call, we can colonize some more worlds over here. Wow, I'm at minus four now. <laughs> Don't know why, but I am. How to fix that? Once Galactic Governance comes in, I should be a little bit better. I think. I'm not sure. 
I've lost a few ships though. Of my fighters. Make sure those are alright. Which one is the best? Let me pause this for a second. Uh, t -t -t two. 1.8. It's probably this one. Which I. Yes! Guyton 3 is the one we want. It's oceanic. It's fertility is 3.1. It's richness is 2.5. And it probably has some nasties there. But what I would. If I colonize him, will he go? I'm not sure. I'm going to hold off for a second. I got three plants I could colonize here. And. Oops. That went back up. Why does it go up so freaking quick? I mean, I know it drops and it goes up and everything because I'm building a lot of stuff. There's got to be more people here because that's the best planet up there, so it's got to have all you guys right up there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Is there anybody there? Are they seeing it? I don't think there's anybody there. Just get your butt up there. Just get up there. Don't have time for this. Nope, nobody there. Alright, we got them all. Colonize that baby. What is this? Science Foundation. Yep, yeah, we did that. An event requires your attention. Ooh, what's that? Oh, I got the oh the secrets of the remnant. I got the the research tree on them now. Awesome. Okay, that's good. I'm not sure how that works. If I'm the only one that can get that, but that's great. Yes, and we also want to take this one. And this one. Wow, that's gonna push me way up into. Oh, that's not good though. They're right there. We might have issues with them later. One, two. They're gonna go resupply. Uh, ch ch empire wise. How do I. I remember how I did that. Mm, is the game paused? Yes. Let me take it diplomacy. Maybe that's what I need to look at. So, let's look at my. Uh, we'll, we'll call it it after this. Let's look at my uh, thing here. My economic strength is number four. Scientific is three. Military strength is three, and population is two. These guys are number one. These guys are two, four, and four. These guys are three, three, two, two. No artifacts, no artifacts. They have Spice of Sleeper. So they found one. Man, I need to get some agents going. <sighs> it's alright. That's good. Uh, Baller. I think I'm going to colonize these two now. Colonize. Colonize. Pretty sure there's nothing there. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about it. Problem is, I can't really f uh, put a fleet up because I have basically no monies that's any good. I'm not making enough. Oh, I'm out of this too. Colonization. I can do biospheres, social. physics. I'm not really sure where I should be going on uh, some of this stuff. Uh, 
should we go to missile theory? Yes. No, we don't want this. Can we get rid of this? Yes. 29 turns on missile theory. And then we will go into... I'm just trying to figure out what to do here. Dad, I got that. I think we should go for biospheres, which is quite a many, many, many turns. So, all right. I need to get my uh, my fleets up a little bit because we will have issues if I don't. Military-wise, I need to build another fleet, is what I'm trying to say. But I have it set at 41%. But anyway, yeah. So guys, this is Malkuth 1974. I'll see you on episode 3. As always, subscribe, comment, rate, give me some suggestions. And we'll get back to this game. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Malkuth, out.